Hello Gemini. This is the monthly spread for you, the month of June 2015. Let's start with yourself. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, it's uh, maybe you will be in June like you will have sharp thoughts or sharp tongue. <laughs> or it's also um, this uh, sword symbolized the grief unfortunately maybe some of you will be like grieving about somebody or something money income and outcome the high priest high priest it's uh, traditions uh, maybe not a huge money uh, but very wise uh, when we using them wisely when we're not spending like crazy when we um, uh, regulating everything in the very wise uh, way so it's everything will be traditional and uh, calm i would say your mood it will be calm about uh, you will be like calm about your income and outcome communications and short travels with siblings neighbors uh, communication you have the uh, judgment card judgment it's um uh, of course, it can be like um, like you can um, have some renewal. Wow, the light. Well, <laughs> funny. <laughs> Sorry for that. Something happens with the light, electricity. Uh, you will have some renewal through talk like for instance come on let's talk this uh, again about it with some of your family members uh, siblings uh, neighbors uh, also it for the short travels it's like when we going somewhere uh, for instance i went somewhere yesterday i wanted to do something but it was like um, I wasted my time and I'm going here again like doing something again like driving somewhere again one more time home and family and also real estate the Queen of Swords uh, Queen of Swords of course it can be if you looking for some uh, real estate it can be an age agent a woman probably also it can be you because Gemini it, it is an air sign uh, or if you are Gemini man it can be your uh, wife for instance but uh, uh, or she is an air sign or she just uh, like very I don't know like she deciding a lot of things at home because the queen of swords she is very logical wise and very like mm, very intellectual also for you for some of you gemini it's a general reading and probably it will not apply to you but you have some like problematic card in cards in some houses for instance this is the grief of some kind you will be grieving about something or somebody this is in communications with uh, I don't know some uh, buddy you have this is the card of graveyard as well unfortunately this is like widow coming in your home and in the friends in the house of friends you have the death card maybe some of you Gemini unfortunately it's a general reading please keep it in mind but maybe some Gemini will uh, like lose a friend and in the house of danger you have the danger of loss not a uh, uh, danger for yourself but uh, of losing something or somebody so maybe it's a, it is a widow who is coming in your home. Fifth house. 
uh, flirts, uh, pleasures, children and hobbies. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. If it's hobby, it's uh, it's uh, like old hobby. You, it's stable hobby. You already know it. You're doing it for a long time, and probably you you can even make some money out of it. Uh, if you are mature, Gemini. It can be your kids like settling down, uh, moving somewhere, doing something with their house, buying something for the house. So um, it's very stable family card. And for flirt, <laughs> if some of you, uh, if you, for instance, have a lover, uh, this is more like family relationship <laughs> with this lover. It's stable, quiet, nothing. Nothing flirty like this. More stability in this house. But you feel sure because of this. Even with your hobbies. Even with your children. Daily routine. You have the Six of Pentacles. It's a wonderful card because by Six of Pentacles our daily routine become easier. Like we getting help when we need it. And we helping somebody. Like you know when um, it's very practical card. Uh, when we are lucky in our daily routine everything is going just in the right way for us so it's a quite good card positive love and long-lasting relationship marriage the empress card empress uh, it means uh, if you're a woman you will be happy you will feel like uh, you feel that your partner loves you also if you're a man maybe this woman is very important for you you also love her so it's a great card also if you are a single Gemini the Empress uh, it's like you can meet a real love this month it doesn't matter or you Gemini man or woman and also Empress and the Ace of Swords are telling that, I, I always forget this word, but when you can get pregnant. So if you don't want it, uh, be careful. And if you want it, just please try to do it. Probably it will, you will succeed in this. The House of Danger, as I told, told earlier, a Five of Pentacles. It's more not like danger, but like... Um, um, danger of being alone, um, danger of to lose something or somebody, what makes you feel warm and happy, like card of coldness, like when you feel cold, lonely. So it's not, um, if you are not living somewhere where is a lot of snow, then for you it's not dangerous. I mean, you probably you will not freeze somewhere in California, but uh, this is the danger of uh, losing something or somebody. Ninth house, long distance travels and uh, your belief system. Uh, if we're talking about long distance travel, it is the uh, card of a traveler. So probably some of you will go somewhere, but for me it's like, when we are very easy going, like uh, day before yesterday I called in this uh, travel company and today I'm packing my bag and suddenly moving, getting on the plane and... Uh, as a belief system, it will be a lot of uh, new and uh, old thoughts like everything is flying in your mind, a lot of thoughts you have and some of them they are quite interesting maybe some of them you never had before something changing in your belief system but it's a quite positive positive changes in your belief system job and career oh, uh, five of wands five of wands of course it can mean conflict it can mean uh, when we like we are we don't feel uh, comfortable we are not calm for some reason we are um, not afraid of some maybe something happening around us and we feel like a little bit fear we don't feel comfortable because of all these things happening 
for those of you who are looking for the job for me it seems like with the six of pentacles and five of wands more like um, maybe it will be it will be easier to find some temporary work like doing something for a couple of days but not serious work because it's by five of wands it's very difficult to find a job you have to fight i don't know very strong and you can you have to go all places and uh, make a lot of phone calls i don't know like you have to be a warrior to find this job and for those of you who are thinking about career shift five of wands it's very hard uh, maybe not in june gemini because like you will have to really fight badly to get some position or maybe you will get it if you want it of course but you have to be prepared for the big fight 11th house with a friend uh, of course it's some kind of changes transformation uh, I hope you will not think uh, that all of you will uh, have will lose a friend uh, not necessarily but for some reason it will be some changes in your like friend circle maybe you will stop uh, I don't know your friendship with some person and start with another some transformation with the friends and as an advice ace of wands gemini you have to keep uh, your enthusiasm you have to remember that that doesn't matter even this, if this tree was cut there will be some new i don't know how you called wand rods uh, something will grow out of this and we know that those animals they are like they have this fertility i think what the empress has so something new will come into your life very soon don't worry don't give up be enthusiastic uh, keep your mood like be enthusiastic gemini i wish you a good month of june think about love wish you luck and see you soon